Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Combined Oral Contraceptive Pills, COCP. One of the methods of contraception is hormonal method and it consists of different types such as COCP, contraceptive patch, POP, injectables and implants, and also the levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system. So in this video, I'll focus on the Combined Oral Contraceptive Pills. So COCP is one of the hormonal methods of contraception. It contains ethanol estradiol and progestogen. The mechanism of action of COCP is it inhibits the ovulation and sometimes causes thickening of the cervical mucus and also thinning of the endometrium. So it helps to prevent pregnancy from occurring. How to use COCP? So a standard pack contains 21 pills taken continuously and then followed by a 7-day break, where a redrawal bleed will occur. The next pack of pills is started on the 8th day, regardless of whether the bleed has finished. When to start taking COCP? So the first packet should be started in the first 7 days of the cycle, of the menstrual cycle, in which it is effective immediately. In women who are amenorrheic or oligomenorrheic, the COCP can be started at any time. But first, we should exclude pregnancy, and additional contraception should be used for the first 7 days. Postnatally, COCP should be avoided for 6 weeks due to the higher thrombosis risk and possible irregular bleeding. The benefits of COCP are it is able to help in control of painful, heavy and irregular periods, a reduction of risk in ovarian cancer where there is a 50% reduction if taken for more than 5 years, and the effect will last after stopping, even after stopping the pills. It is also associated with a reduction in risk of endometrial cancer, where there is a 40% reduction if the COCP is taken for more than 5 years. Less risk of benign breast disease, reducing risk in functional ovarian cysts, improved premenstrual tension and endometriosis, control of fibroids, and also improved acne and hirsutism. So there are quite a lot of benefits of COCP, besides helping in preventing pregnancy. There are also some disadvantages to remember, where one of the disadvantages is the patient need to remember to take a pill every day, and there is a high risk of missing pills, which may cause it to lose its function. There is also a lack of protection against sexually transmitted diseases, an increased risk in cervical cancer, although this may relate to the lack of barrier protection against the human papilloma virus. And there is also some studies that shows that there is an increased risk of breast cancer. However, this is still under investigation and research studies. Some of the serious side effects of COCP are thrombosis, hypertension, and migraine. So if these conditions are suspected, then the pill should be stopped. There are some minor side effects, which include irregular bleeding in the first few cycles, weight gain or weight loss, reduced libido, nausea, bloatedness, breast tenderness, headache, and mood change. However, most of these symptoms do not persist after the first three months of use. The contraindications to take COCP include pregnancy, hypertension, severe migraine, previous history or high risk of thrombosis, those who had history of ischemic heart disease, cardiovascular accident such as stroke, cardiovascular accident, liver disease, porphyria, diabetes, smokers over 35 years, and those who have unexplained irregular vaginal bleeding. The COCP is also contraindicated with breastfeeding as it may impair the milk production. So, one thing that we have to take note is if the patient missed their pills. So, missed pills is defined as the pill is either completely forgotten or the pill was taken more than 12 hours after the normal time. So, the management for missed pills is to take the pill once remembered, continue the rest of the pack, and also add a barrier method of contraception such as condom for 7 days. If the pack ends within those 7 days, then the next pack should be started straight away without a break. If there is vomiting or severe diarrhea occurring within 3 hours of taking the pill, extra precautions should be taken. If there is a mis- uh, just 
take the scenario same as missing a pill. Women who are taking some antibiotics should continue to take the pill but also use a barrier contraceptive like condom until 7 pill taking days after completing the course of antibiotics. That is all for this video, thank you.